village. I don't know. All right, Cloudy versus Cosmos happening right now. Cloudy and Cosmos, two of the premier uh, Aegis players. I hate saying that. Aegis. Pyramithra players. Okay. That have been coming out. Uh, obviously, Cosmos very much favoring Mithra over Pyra, but has definitely been working on the Pyra and actually beat Tweak earlier today. I believe it was a 3 0, too. So, big win for him. Wow. Meanwhile, on the other side, Cloudy, a very strong player. Used to play Cloud, of course, but has switched over to Aegis, uh, Pyra Mithra for this one. So, we're going to see a bit of a ditto on this, a little bit of a mirror match. Yeah, well, I think. I, unless one of them changes. Hold on now. Okay. Yeah. Yes, bro. This is the pinnacle of Smash right here. This is what we all have been waiting for. This is all. This is what all Twitter thinks happens in every tournament. Mithra. Everyone's playing Pyra Mithra. Get 17. This, like, this might actually be like the third Mithra. time I've ever seen this ditto. And it's. I feel like the, the first two were. Might have been Cosmos and Spargo. Although I think Spargo would actually be going Cloud more than uh, often. Not if that happens. But sure. Regardless, let us see how this one plays out. Uh, Cloudy, Cosmos going at it. As far as I know, uh, this is now officially the most represented character at uh, Smash World Tour with five Aegis reps. Um, meanwhile, Sonic, I think, is number two, but I think a lot of the Sonics have dropped out. There's literally no way Rob was not more represented. No. Like, b between World Tour and Smash Chan uh, Last Chance Qualifier? Oh, just World Tour, I think. Oh, like just the World groups. Tour. Okay. But I could be wrong. All right, all right, all right. But just, there we go, Cosmos. Uh, safe, Cosmos basically just got a zero to death there. Yeah, he did. So good with the Mithra forward smash. He's just so good at landing it, at placing it, catching people, whether it's in the air, because that big drift on the top, or just catching people below the ledge. Yeah. Cosmos is killing it lately. Well, look, I, look I'm, I am told, okay, where I've seen, and I think he's actually told me himself, that I've watched a couple streams. Cosmos says his pirates suck. Like, and <laughs> there was a stream recently where he was actually like, it was a stream on a voice where it was like, his sub goal was to teach Cosmos Pyra. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know, man. Like, I, you don't really see his uh, his Pyra out too often, but honestly, with the way that he's piloted Mithra, you don't honestly need it too often either. Yeah, he's not really a Pyra kind of player. I mean, if you look at his characters that he's played in the past, whether it's Pikachu, Inkling, uh, not really Corrin as much, oh, nice. but like, he likes the characters that are fast that are able to get these like explosive punishes sometimes, but generally he's more about the quick damage and uh, the safer hits. And Mithra definitely plays to that play style more. Yeah, man, this is okay. Yeah, that's the, that's the one. That's the only few things he's missing is the the trade. Uh, oh, okay, do it again. No. Definitely thought that was just gonna be an easy down here, but uh, that's the one thing he is missing is like the straight hit uh, wins that Pyra can do for just mashing a. Right, uh, coming down. So, oh, wait a minute. Swapping over to Pyro. Hold Maybe up. a little bit of uh, uh, learning and action. Uh, switch back. Right, switch yeah, back yeah, this yeah. instant. Brother. <laughs> switch back this instant. Help. <laughs> okay. Hey, okay, scooped up. Wait a you minute. You should go Mithra now. <laughs> <laughs> He's staying on Pyra, though. Maybe taking this opportunity to, uh, you know, maybe a little bit of. Field test training yeah. with the character, and we're back on the three. There, yeah, I mean, you can't just play a level nines all day and then, like, I learned her. Yeah, uh, gotta play against some human opponents. Here we go. Ooh, wait a minute, Cloudy, bringing this one back. Cloud Cloudy with a very, very strong start. He Cloudy. spent a lot of time on Pyra that I think he lost a lot of uh, a lot of runway in this match, but doesn't yeah. matter. Boosh. That's three forward smashes to end this. In the same way, too. It's always like, oh, you're recovering? Hold right. Up. Let me perfectly space this, for this forward smash. Nerfed or not, you get hit that close to the edge and it's charged, like, you're most likely going to die. So. He's gotten that so many times. Yeah. Not just, like, in this set, but in general. He really likes Mithra Solo. He's got the Chris G going on with the hyper Rex around the Oh, yeah. Around the, the double ears headset. And, the, and on his head. Mithra. Let's go. Meanwhile, Cloudy not wearing anything at all. It kind of surprised me. I don't know how people do that, man. I, uh, Not hear the game. Oh. Th this, these colors are way too close, bro. <laughs> Wait. Oh, what? <laughs> one's playing the normal one, and one's playing the more bold and colored one. <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like I'm going to have to go off tags. Oh, man, that's funny. That's gross. All right. So here we go. Original Pyra and, uh, and filtered Pyra. Or original Mithra and filtered Mithra. Dude, OK. All right. I would not be surprised if we saw a situation where they got reversed in like a weird scramble and one of them like, you know, falls off the stage. Yeah. They don't realize. Right now, Cloudy has the advantage. Cosmos on Pyra. 
I see you, Cloudy. He's like, maybe I just visually mix him. He just cheat, bro. Good nice. air dodge. I love that. Oh no, Cloudy's in a bad I spot. Think he's dead. Yeah. Yeah, you're not making it back. That's so unfortunate. That was a great down smash right there, man. Uh, thought he was going to go just go for the F smash. That down smash put him uh, at a good angle and just far enough, up enough for him not to be able to one side be back and two uh, up B and kind of drift back either. Either way, Cosmos at 123 right now. Oh no. Up smash isn't going to do it though. He got to switch to Pyra, and I don't know how strong, you know, Cloudy's Pyra is. I feel like he, he, I feel like he definitely plays both. For sure, yeah. I don't know, though, because he's not able to find this kill. And now Cosmos is threatening because of all this rage, and because Cloudy's at 78, he's threatening to get the early kill, but it doesn't matter anyway. Color Pop Pyra and Mithra makes, like, regular Pyra and Mithra look like the fake one. <laughs> got him. Yeah, that's true. Doesn't look... Quite the same. All faded and whatnot. This is the before and after. All right, here we go. Full stock advantage for Cosmos. Might be a pretty quick set if it goes on this pace. It feels like Cosmos is just sort of running away with it. But Cloudy now has the advantage under him. Both these guys just trying to shoot out these neutral airs, find opportunities to drill into each other. Nice. Easy confirm or easy one right there. Usually you try to go for the uh, for the jab lock, but got the smart option. Oh, Whoa! Wait. Yeah, oh, you're dead. You're dead. Okay. He, he gave him too much time. Yeah. He could have just recovered, but I think Cloudy just spent way too much time off stage, and Cosmos was able to calculate it. That I was see, sick. I see you. I see you, Cosmos. L little usage of the Pyra, you know. Only it, when it matters. It's most. creeping out. It's creeping out. And he's laying that down there. It seemed like Cloudy could have recovered, but he just spent a little bit too much time off stage. Maybe got a little, you know, a little uh, overzealous with it. But Sephiroth is the choice for this next one. So here we are, game three. We swapped off of Pyramithra. And the ditto is now behind us. Let's see how Sephiroth fares. All right. Here we go. I mean, I honestly, I... Yo, I feel like I, just on paper, don't like this matchup. I know Sephiroth has like the range and whatnot, but that speed of Pyra is very hard to deal with, and you don't have good out-of-shield options, so, or uh, Mithra. And so you don't really have good out-of-shield options. And now you're allowing Cosmos to to Pyra you? Oh, you're getting disrespected. Nope. Right. I Yeah, that's definitely mean, what he's doing. <laughs> I do feel like this matchup is tough for Sephiroth just because Aegis, or I'm sorry, Mithra. Oh my god, huge up B. He actually nice. got him with that. Well done. He took 84% with nothing and then immediately got that kill. Well done to Cloudy, but no, I think you're right. I think a character with as much burst range and speed as Mithra is just very difficult for Sephiroth. All right. I love the that idea. Was, I love yep. the idea, dude. Yep, yep, yep. He was like, I, I will not be getting my shield broke today, so. Yeah, he took the damage, but he avoided the big hit, which most likely would have been death anyway. I'm sure he would have ended up hit, getting hit with the uh, Giga Flare F Smash. The old classic. Dang. Cosmos, spending a, again, spending a lot of time on this Pyra. Jesus. He's trying. He's got the forward air. Oh, going all the way low, Wait a gonna minute. zap him. Yeah, you can't, well, there's not much. You, you, there's no way. There's no. like literally no way you uh, actually fully edge guard that. I was trying to calculate it. I was like, oh, maybe, but no, it was not happening. All right, well. Definitely at least the surprise factor coming out for Cloudy. Not sure if it's gonna work, uh, you know, even if it does work in this game, it's gonna work for a reverse 3-0. Remains to be seen. Okay. Right now, Cosmo's struggling to get this kill. You know what I also have noticed about Cosmos' uh, Pyra? I've yet to see a single side B. That's He true. does not blazing in. No. Like that, that move does not exist to him. He's, I need to keep my sword on me at all times. Okay. okay. Forward tilt. Right now Mithra's up. Yeah, and Pyra is so scary for Sephiroth just because he's so light. I feel like it's scary for both of them. You saw he, he, how hard he died to that... Uh, that Oh, okay, good stuff. Oh, dear. To that F air uh, counter. Right. So you got to watch out for uh, Centilla the whole time as well. All right. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That's something, it's sort of a, uh, it's a, you can go the safe way and just go to the ledge, or if you get that hit, you can get that free damage. 
And now Cosmos at 151. You gotta, yeah, you can't do that against him. You can do that against a lot of characters, but not Sephiroth. Excellent down smash from range. He, he actually did that to the point, at the point where he could have, if he went past the, uh, the ledge, he baited that. Right. Like, because that F, that uh, down smash would have missed, uh, or at least got beaten out by the him coming down with uh, Prominence Revolt. So, huh, maybe he was trying to do that, but he just didn't hold down fast enough. Oh, well. Regardless, can we, can we, uh, I need Ooh. to put that Pyro away. Oh, oh, hey, hey. All right, I need, you, I need you to stop playing that Pyro, though. Like <laughs> Mithra only. Mithra only, brother. Pay her for Show half the DLC and only get one of them. <laughs> Instead of five ninety nine, pay three bucks. So here we go, Pirate Mithra coming out right now. Again, we're on battlefield though. Oh dear, this seems much worse for Sephiroth, right? I mean, you're getting juggled in the air, and uh, you're gonna get comboed. Already thirty seven. Yeah, can't really punish that, but either way, look at my look, look at Mithra just all over, all over uh, this here. Sephiroth, like, again, not really not really an option he can do out of shield. Uh, Her dash player, burst is crazy. The neutral out of shield is, like, relatively, like, quick or quick enough. It's just the hitbox isn't there for it, so. Unfortunate. Uh oh, we're snapping. We're snapping. Hey, hold on now. Battle of the... Oh, oh man. Yeah, it's Giga Flare hours. Boom. That move is so funny. Yeah, I love that move. Like they, this kid, this his kid, I feel like it's almost based around getting shield breaks to get flares. So uh, Cosmo's sticking on the Pyra. I love the wait on the air dodge. Yeah, you don't have to be a Pyra expert to wait for that one. Which one will he go? All right, Cosmos. Back airs, back a bunch of them into the ray of punishment. Hold on. Ooh. Oh no. Nice. Nice tech, though, as well. Beautiful but... tech from Cloudy. Yeah. Well, I mean, Still a ton of damage, but at least you're alive. Yeah. Okay. Cosmos literally running running away with this uh, the damage on the stock at the very least. Hasn't, hasn't fully completed the stock yet, but he's he's definitely threatening it. Ooh, down smash the other way. Ah, I was swinging on that forward smash. Good stuff to Cloudy for disrupting it with that neutral air. Cosmos, Cosmos uh, he's kind of playing house himself the way that he's, he's like standing on these platforms waiting for the F smash uh, opportunity. Right. Almost. Hey, watch your toes. Cloudy trying to play around this. Back air would do a lot there. I don't know if it would necessarily kill, but God, got a little bit too actually, overzealous. That looked like it actually reaches the top platform. Yeah, it's huge. Real close, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, we're going low. Oh, no. Easy zap. Yeah, a little bit. Wait, wait, no, no, it wait. No, it no, it doesn't matter. That yeah. definitely worked. Good. Let's push him too far away. Did not get a wing for a second jump. All right, Cosmos. Cosmos. Yeah, pretty quick uh, match for Cosmos. Definitely losing that one game, looking a little shook. But like I was saying, it's it's going to take a lot to reverse 3-0 Cosmos in that kind of position. Yeah, I was wondering when they were both up being, I was like, can he just keep pushing them off? And then, you know, who's going to die first? But well done to Cosmos going up 3-1 over Cloudy. A lot of 3-1s.